Hey there everybody, how's it going? This is Bronson from Fretz RV here in Southampton, Pennsylvania. I'm excited to show you brand new products from Jayco. This is the first time we're actually seeing one on our lot here. This is the 2022 Jayco Swift 20T. Now this model is 21 feet in length. For those of you that might have just seen my Travato floor plan video, um, this is gonna look extremely identical. This is almost Jayco's version of it. The floor plan, I mean, is laid out pretty similarly, but there's of course some new features, some different additions that Jayco has done. They're using some different parts here and there. So I'm excited to show you the inside outside features. See, this might be the coach for you. So starting on the outside, we of course on the Ram Pro Master chassis, it's gonna have that V6 gas engine. It's got some of the new updated features like the blind spot assist, crosswind assist and such. Uh, the nice touchscreen panel, which I'll be sure to show you on the inside. Very economical chassis. Like I said, only 21 feet in length. So it's gonna be great for parking around. You can pretty much park anywhere. Um, this will be good for a boondocking type, type of setup because it does have the generator on board. It's got an inverter. It's got solar on the roof, which speaking of the roof starting up there, you might see you've got the Thule roof rack up there. So you've got the three kind of bars that go across, one in the front, middle, and the back here. So you'll be able to tie down things as you want to go uh, you know, on your travels. Towards the front, you'll have that 190 watt solar panel that they put on the roof there for you. It's going to be great for trickle charging the two AGM batteries on board. You've also got a Thule... Um, awning up here it's a power awning up here it's got led strip there for you that's gonna be nice and big to come out give you that outdoor entertainment shade it's got the outdoor speakers that'll be up there nice slick design out here it's got the windows that come across or tinted windows of course you've got a running board for stepping up into your unit your passenger and main side door entry as you come towards the back you'll find you do have a couple 110 outlets that'll be tucked up under here if you want to plug something in while you're outside Along the back side here, you of course do have a backup camera, a Thule bike rack, I'm using lots of parts from them on here, which uh, I'm really a fan of so far. On the back, you are set up for towing. You've got the seven way plug and you'll see your black and your gray holding tank. The levers are right down there for those. I'll open this back door so that you can see. You've got the privacy shades, which are on your back windows here. Something I do wish, which I'm not seeing right now is the uh, addition of a possibly a screen back here but you do have a curtain to close off your uh your back bathroom section of course your wet bath will be back here you've got a water pump switch a little spray port for an outside shower some outlets if you want to hang out back here and of course there's an led porch light that's tucked up above there i'll be sure to show you the rest of the wet bath as we get inside as you walk around the other side you'll find the majority of your hookups here you've got solar on the side so you can of course hook up another solar panel bring one along with you plug it into there face into the sun that'll help with your additional 190 watts that are on the roof something that you don't typically see so much on the driver's side is more outlets over here you've got a black tank flush on board your city water connection cable hookup and a spot for your 30 amp cord as i said your dump is down below for your black and gray tanks on board Truma exhaust for the Truma combi system. That'll do your hot water and your furnace heat. It's an instant hot water system. It's really nice. Then you've got a spot for your sewer hose down below and a spot for quick fill on your propane tank. As you come across, the driver's side door also has the foot step up for you. Take you around here and I'll get you up on the inside so you can see just what Jayco has done here with this Swift. So it's very similar to the previous year Travato in terms of layout where the table pops out and you've got the slide out drawer here, which I just got done saying in my Travato video um, that they've changed. I'm actually going to turn on our battery switch here, get you a pan around view. We'll turn some lights on here so we can see how it looks. Twin bed setup, like I said, this will convert into a king. I'm sure to throw up a picture for you here in a bit. Wardrobe in the back, got the toilet. Nice high gloss finish on the cabinets here. Solid surface countertops. You will have the two seats that will swivel around. They have a really nice leather finish on them. Also the ultra leather. It's a really soft material. I'll be sure to mention that some more in a bit here. As we start up in the front, what I love about this Jayco, um, it comes with a nice touch screen. So it's really easy to flip through your screens. You've got the master light on, um, on and off switch here. Check your tank levels, your battery. You can start and stop your generator. 112 degrees in here it's a scorching day let me tell you i should probably have the ac going 
Next page is your lighting page and you've got climate controls. You can turn your fan on. This will be to extend and retract your awning. And then you've got a settings page right from here. Got a 24 inch TV, which sits up here. It's on the swivel mount. So you can pull that strap down and swivel it in any direction you like. As I said, two twin bed setup. You can fill in the middle here to make the king bed, fill the cushion in the middle. I do want you to see though, underneath you've got the fully comfortable bed system on here. And the headrest, you can see this is actually slanted up. You can lay it down flat or slant it up, which is gonna be really nice and comfortable for you. There's a couple of little storage cubby nettings on the side of each mattress here if you wanna slide something in there. You still have the mounts here for if you wanna get the RAM uh, mounts that they make, you can put little accessories on there and such. And of course, you've got your windows. These have these drop down privacy shades. I'll open up some of these storage bins so that you can get an idea what they're looking like. Got a little bit of carpeted material in here, which is nice. As you come back to the bathroom, it does have a sliding door, so you'll be able to take this off and slide the door right across for your privacy. Plenty of space in here. As you walk in, you've got the toilet with the foot flush. It's got the flip down sink. You do have the medicine cabinet on here, so you can open this up. And you'll find you've got a few shelves there for you. Nice big shower head. As you come around, you do have a hanging closet in here. Plenty of extra storage space. And then you'll have three lower drawers down below, which will come out. Got some other belongings. You've got the two holes in the middle. So this does have the tabletop, which you'll sit on the poles that you can put into here. So if you want to sit in your rear uh, twin bed section, you can do so. You can sit here, have a meal, or even sit up in the front seats, which I'll be sure to show you in a bit. Your passenger side twin bed does lift up for some storage under here so you've got extra shades under there and here's a table that actually mounts right onto the side of the bed here and you can see how that uh, lift up system is for the headrest above your driver's side seat you've got more lighting controls and the control for your truma combi system open up a couple more of these cabinets they're about the same size all around here uh, your windows are actually pretty neat. The way that these open up, you push these down and then you'll slide the window. See if I can do this one handed. I can't. Push those in, window slides open. You've got a nice screen that would be right there. If I had another free hand, I'd show you, but I'm sure you get the idea. And then you'll still have that privacy shade over here. As you come back to the galley area, at the fridge, which sits down below, got the nice little blue lighting in there. It's got the freezer up above. I believe this is 3.1 cubic feet total run right off the batteries you'll have your sink area they give you these covers different covers that you can have for it and the bowl i really like these dometic cooktops that they're putting in just a nice modern kind of sleek design lift it up and tuck it away i'll show you one of these cabinets up above here and i'll go right back for you if you need some extra outlets here in your kitchen space pop that up you got some extra usb and 110 plugs right here for yourself and pop right down and hide them out the ways you don't need them convection microwave on board so since you don't have an oven you can work that like one and then you have some more storage down below and while i'm down here there is a hidden one underneath the floor right here once again swivel seats will come around this way if you want to sit here and have a meal you can pull out your table and Drop this down flat. Right now the seat's in the way, but I'm sure again, you get the idea that comes out. Lays down flat. You wanna set up your computer, you've got some outlets and USB over here. And for this side, maybe you wanna sit here, eat something. Then you can uh, turn this around, get it sitting right here. Maybe use this as some extra prep space, cutting space. There's a little bit of storage right up above the cab section also. Once again, these seats, and these really nice stitching design on them. Extremely comfortable. Coming up here in your front chassis, here's that touch screen I was talking about. You can scroll through, you can connect your phone, get Pandora, Spotify, Bluetooth hook up to there. Nice big touch screen. They even give you some, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to pull up, but vehicle things, they'll show your vehicle PSI and such right on here for the tires. 
Um, the other wrap steering wheel, got the blind spot monitoring, tons of cup holders. These chassis are getting more and more comfortable each time they come up with these upgrades. Really enjoying seeing what they're uh, changing around here. So this is the 2022 Jayco Swift 20T here at Fretz RV of Sowerton, Pennsylvania. Again, my name is Bronson. If you have more questions, feel free to reach out in the comments. I'll, be, I'll try my best to get back to you. Uh, shoot me a call at the dealership. I'm glad to help you there. Like the video if you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe to keep up with further content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.